and welcome to the third installment of Lust vs. Must. So this is an ongoing series that I do where I compare two products that give you a similar effect or perform a similar job, and one of them is lustworthy, meaning that it is on the pricey side, and the other one is a cheap wallet friendly alternative. And I only do a video in this series when I find two products that I think, you know, are comparable, obviously, but that I can also recommend without reservations to you, whether it's the expensive version or the cheaper version. You know, both are going to have their pros and cons, and that is what I lay out for you so you can decide if you want to choose the lust version or the must version. So, today I'm going to be talking about cream eyeshadows. I'm comparing the Smashbox Limitless 15 Hour Cream Shadow in Topaz to the Maybelline Color Tattoo Metal in Barely Branded. Now, I have not owned Barely Branded before for some reason, even though the shade is it's a nice neutral, it's been around for a long time, I just picked it up a couple weeks ago as well as the Smashbox. Now, you might think it's kind of interesting that I'm sort of fishing for problems by <laughs> comparing a product that has been established as a really, really fantastic product, the Maybelline Color Tattoos. A lot of you probably have used them at some point since they were launched a few years ago, and these are widely considered to be a fantastic product, and I completely agree with that. Um, they, they do what they're supposed to do, they last, they don't crease or move around, at least, you know, unless you're under extreme, extreme conditions, and they look really great. They're easy to use. The Smashbox shadows sell for $20, and for your money, you get 5 grams of product, whereas with the color tattoos, you get 4 grams, and these sell for, on, a, on the Ulta website, they're $6.99, but, you know, they're cheaper at Target or Walmart, and, of course, you can get them on sale, so these are a bargain any way you slice it. But $20 for 5 grams of product wasn't, you know, extreme. In Lust vs. Must, I usually talk about the merits of each product separately, but this time I am just going to cut right to the chase and say that there is absolutely nothing better about the Smashbox Cream Shadow. In my opinion, in my testing, I just, I don't think it's any better, and it's, it's so much the same. Both this and the Maybelline Color Tattoo wear beautifully. I mean, this promises 24-hour wear. I will never be testing that. If you want to test it, let me know how that turns out, but I'm never going to wear anything on my eyes for 24 hours. This one promises 15 hours, which, you know, I think that should be sufficient for most of us. But they both wear beautifully throughout the day. Uh, they both apply evenly and easily. You know, you have a good amount of time that you can sort of move it around with your finger or a brush before it completely sets and dries down. You can put shadow over them if you really want to. Um, for me, I kind of like to wear these type of products on their own or sort of, you know, like today, I kind of put them on my lid and I layered some uh, MAC paint pot and groundwork in my crease just to warm it up and kind of give my eyes a little more depth. So that's what I do with them. There's just no difference. Now, let me swatch them. Okay, so on top is Barely Branded, and on the bottom is Topaz. I don't know how that's catching the light, but... They don't look like the same color, but now I'm going to show you my eyes. <laughs> Over here, well, let me just double check. Over here, I have Topaz, and here I have Barely Branded. The shade, the tone, is very similar, but... Barely Branded, I think, looks brighter and bolder, and I talk about that more when I show you the application demo, which I will do in just a moment. But it's kind of hard to distinguish between colors, although I do find this to be brighter, and I certainly didn't use more product on this eye with the Barely Branded. I'm starting with the Smashbox in Topaz, and with my ring finger, I just rub it in there. <laughs> and go for it. And this is how I've always applied cream shadows, little potted cream shadows like this. Okay, so there's the Smashbox, just one layer. I'm going to look down so you can get a nice look at it. And I'm going to try to build it just a teeny tiny bit. Um, I, would, I would stop right there because um, I think that's fine. <laughs> but I want you to see the color and the texture as much as you possibly can. I'm really thinking this isn't going to show up so well, but we're going to give it our best shot. So there we go. 
Now for Barely Branded, the other ring finger of my left hand. And I think right away you can see the, I don't know, the, the greater depth of, of tone. Is that even the right explanation? Um, I guess I don't have the best vocabulary for describing colors, but I, I feel that it just goes on brighter, you know? I, I can't really distinguish a difference in the shade with these two, but on first touch, just the brightness, and I guess the richness, the boldness, the depth, whatever you want to say, someone help me out, I think it's greater with Barely Branded. And so I barely had to work there. Um, didn't take much to get a really bold look. So you can compare, but as I, and I've, as I've worn these two throughout the day, you know, one on each eye, I do feel that this is just a little more subdued and this retains that really bright flash of, you know, shimmery champagne color, which I think is what you want if you are wearing a product like this. Okay guys, that is it for today's Lust vs. Must. Um, I hope that I cleared up any kind of lingering curiosity or uncertainty that you might have had about cream eyeshadows. <laughs> I don't know, I've been sort of, you know, it's like, I find something I like, Maybelline color tattoos, and as soon as that happens, I start wondering if there's any greener grass on the other side of the street. So. Maybe this is a lesson, a greater lesson, that, that we should just be happy where we live and stick with our affordable color tattoos. But yeah, you know, the Smashbox, there's nothing wrong with it. It's a good product. It's totally fine. But it's like the exact same thing. They're both great. Save your money. Buy those Maybelline color tattoos. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And have a wonderful day.